Hi, I'm April Hemlock, and today I'm going to talk about some of the items that I would have in my OT toolkit. First, I'm going to start with some fabric to put down to have a nice, soft, clean surface for a child to sit or play on. Uh, next, I would have hand sanitizer just to protect my health and the health of the child. Um, then I would have uh, common just body lotion. I think that this is a great dual purpose to work on sensory as well. And that leads me to the next section, which would be items that I would have out of my kitchen. I would include a um, regular cookie sheet, tongs, and muffin tin. And you could use the lotion on the cookie sheet. You could use the muffin tin um, to put items in. Um, for visual, perceptual, and fine motor using either the tongs or the fingers. I also have these uh, baby food jars. This works on the cylindrical grasp, and the child could open these all up, take the items out, put them in the muffin tin. Great fine motor visual perceptual activity, and then put all the items back in, close the lid. However um, difficult you wanted to make it, you could grade it in various ways. And next I would have a very, various types of books. Um, I think books travel well and are easy to carry. So just different levels of, of um, for ages. So I would have a baby book. I think something with a mirror would be great because we talk about using mirrors in therapy. So this has a dual purpose as well. Um, some baby books, board books. I like um, this animal book because it's almost modified as is with the the tabs of the animals already there. Then I would have this Cars Search and Find book, which is a great visual perceptual activity and uh, motivational for a lot of children as well. Um, next, I would have some puzzles. Um, I picked this one puzzle in particular because it really involves multiple senses. So the, the way that the, um, you pick it up would really work on the pincher grasp. Then it also makes a sound. So this would be a great visual perceptual activity with multi-sensory learning because you're engaging um, vision, sound, and also the motor, um, fine motor piece as well. I would have Cheetos in my toolkit because I think Cheetos are very motivational to help children work on feeding. I would also have bubbles because I think bubbles are great for visual tracking and crossing the midline. Kids all love bubbles and they're easy and cheap to carry in your toolkit. And just to work on some dressing uh, such as a, a simple shirt and even though this shirt may not fit all children uh, you could use this to see how how well their fine motor skills are if they can do buttons or not and then determine if you need to move to a more difficult type of shirt. This also could be great for um, just body awareness and you know do they understand the concept of putting their hand through. We have Play-Doh. It's a great sensory activity and fine motor um, because they can use the cookie cutter tools and also the Play-Doh scissors um, are great for working on those tools of the hand. I would have beads and again this is um, a good fine motor active or do in hand manipulation by bringing the bead to the fingertips. I would have a couple toys that make sound just to add a um, more audio piece if needed and this one is uh, great also fine motor to move the hands and the legs and to be interesting for a child to play with and they're lightweight and easy to carry. Some blocks, again, great fine motor activity that um, can go across many ages. So, and you can tell a lot by a child's development with how they play with blocks. I have a couple other sensory, um, more baby focused toys. This particular one vibrates and makes sound. A lot of children do like the, the vibration and it could also provide some vibration, oral stimulation with these ear. We talked about with um, uh, stimulation to the mouth for feeding. 
I have a flashlight, which is great. You can do puppets on the ceiling for visual tracking, um, a baby rattle, sound, and again, a toy for oral feeding, oral motor. Um, I have some craft items, simple craft sticks and pipe cleaners and feathers, a uh, great visual motor and um, visual perceptual. You can put shapes together, uh, make shapes out of the pipe cleaners, and then sensory as well with the feathers. Uh, last but not least, I would have stickers. Um, and these little um, bracelets just calms them and gives them something to look at if maybe they're scared. And stickers are great for a reward. I have a little car we wanted to work on. Again, visual perceptual on the floor of anything. You can make something into a track. It can be just a, a great activity in numerous ways. So I lied. That wasn't. Those were my last ones. I have one more last item, which is a bongo drum. I think that this is a great toy for bilateral motor control and also provides uh, proprioception and audio feedback and it's just motivational for kids to play with. They just always want to hit the drum. So thank you so much for listening and have a great day.